Hey, maybe you've heard of binaural beats and perhaps you've wondered if they work or maybe you've tried them and you haven't gotten any results. Maybe also you're wondering if it's the same thing as meditation. So I thought I'd address those things in this video. So binaural beats are an audio uh, technique in which using headphones, you need headphones. You can't do this with regular stereo. Well, maybe you can if you have the stereo right around your ears, but I think it works a lot better with just headphones. Two tones, different, slightly different frequencies are in each ear, I believe, and that allows your brain to kind of, you talk about brain waves, the, the frequency that your brain is operating on. There's different brain waves for different levels of um, how alert your brain is. And when you sleep, you go into these deeper brain waves like delta and alpha and uh, gamma, I think is the deepest. Anyways, I've um, messed with these over the years. First though, I, I learned how to meditate when I was like about 16, 17. But then like several years later, I heard about these binaural beats and a lot of claims were made about them. I actually had at one point as a teenager, this, this device, it was like the audio, but it also had a light mask that you put over your eyes and it would flash and at the same time. So anyways, I used that. And then there were other programs I messed with over the years, like Hemisync, Hol Holosync, Paraliminals or another one. Uh, there's there's more out there nowadays, and there's tons of them on YouTube. You can use for free. Some go on for hours, and some of them claim make all, all kinds of claims. Some of them have, you know, subliminals and all this other stuff. I can't really talk about the subliminals whether that's working, but let me just talk about the beats, the experience, what it is, and you can decide if you want to try it. It's pretty easy to try because there are so many on YouTube. So the process of meditation, I learned transcendental meditation as a teenager and then later on I kind of transitioned to more of a general mindfulness like awareness of just focusing on the breath and being alert and paying attention but when I first tried meditation I was pretty impressed with it, it I did get results pretty quickly because I had teachers and you feel very relaxed but then you start to feel in your brain and trying to explain it is very difficult but the closest thing I can say is that very often you'll kind of see this kind of movement of these kind of you know, like dark red and black waves behind your eyes and you you're kind of feeling what you're seeing at the same time and the longer you meditate and I mean both in time like in minutes but also in years the different it, you can go into much deeper states and anyways when I tried binaural beats later on I was I was curious, right, is it going to be just like meditation or is it going to be a little different? And I would say that it's similar. You get you can get those that experience of like the waves, but because you're not like when you're meditating, you're you're kind of have to kind of discipline your mind and and like be there with it. Otherwise, it's very easy to wander off and like start thinking again and and then not meditate at all and not have any really noticeable experience. And it's not about judging the experience, but I'm just saying that like uh, there are times when I would try to meditate and not not feel like I went deep at all, but other times when I went very deep. So with binaural beats, because you're not really having, I mean, you want to obviously try to relax, but for the most part, it's just closing your eyes and, you know, listening. And that's pretty, I think a lot, for a lot of people, that's easier to do. One difference about binaural beats is you can select like the brainwave frequency. Like a lot of times I'll, I'll try like theta or delta or alpha. You don't usually want beta unless you're doing something very active, but beta is like the, the active uh, brainwave state. So that's, you don't really do that in sleep. But uh, gamma I think is the, the deepest one. And actually there's been research on gamma waves relating to um, preventing dementia, relating to maybe preventing Alzheimer's. You can read about some of that research. I think it's still ongoing, but it's kind of uh, incredible if it, if it can help you to avoid dementia in later life. So maybe something to consider and maybe you want to try gamma waves specifically. I've found gamma waves, I don't feel like it's quite as relaxing and deep, but uh, maybe there are benefits. I, I, I've just personally found that the effect of gamma waves is not, it doesn't feel like uh, very relaxing and refreshing the way that for me, delta waves and theta waves have been the most uh, deepest, but I'll link down below to three different brainwave 
binaural beats programs. Like I said though, there are tons and tons and tons more. Some of them make pretty audacious, aud audacious, audacious claims like, like alter your DNA. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think these people know what they're talking about. They're just, you know, marketing and it's kind of sleazeball in some sense. But if you just pick out programs that specify specific brainwave states, uh, I think those are probably the most reliable. But one of them that I'll link to below is supposedly transitions through different brain waves. You, you can see that and you can also find ones for specific amounts of time. One other difference between meditation and binaural beats is that you can you can do binaural beats lying down which for meditation doesn't usually work because a lot of times you'll just fall asleep. With uh, binaural beats you can lie down and that's that's kind of neat and you may also want to do it if you if you're trying to go to sleep at night and maybe it can help you get to sleep. There are ones actually specifically labeled as helping you get into a sleepy state. And again, that may be just, just be marketing, but if these brainwave states are associated with, you know, getting into sleep, maybe it will help. Now, for those of you ha who have tried brainwave um, entrainment, like binaural beats, and you're like, I tried it, nothing happened. It's a scam. It doesn't work. It's just, like I said, marketing. I would have to disagree with you because I have had very, uh, very deep experiences on with binaural beats. And I will say though that usually it takes me at least, at least five to 10 minutes before I feel anything. That's very common. So all I can suggest is that you, if you haven't felt anything is to one, make sure you're doing it in a quiet environment, in a comfortable environment that you're, you know, not too hot or too cold, that you are uh, in a comfortable chair or lying down and that you um, you can do similar things to what you can do while meditating. Just, you know, pay attention to your breathing and relax. Allow you, give your body permission to relax as much as possible. Just go as limp as you can and just uh, allow yourself to, you don't have to focus specifically on the music. You can just kind of gently relax. But if thoughts come up, don't really pay attention to them. Just kind of let them fade away. And I think if you do that, you... It may take a little longer for some people. One other thing about binaural beats, beats is the volume. Some people say that you don't need very high volume. So a lot of times when people do this, they'll like crank up the volume and maybe that is keeping you from going into too deep a state. Or maybe you have the volume too low. I, I find that you don't need the volume very high, but you want it loud enough that you can hear it. If it's annoying you or intruding too much, then it's probably keeping you from that deep state. Overall, I think binaural beats are a great way, especially if you've tried meditation before and you've just, you don't find you have the attention span or the focus for meditation. One other thing about binaural beats too is that I find that I can use marijuana with it and, and get some pretty deep states as well. Whereas with marijuana and meditation, I, I just find like sometimes I can't focus. You may want to think of them as training wheels for meditation. You can start with binaural beats and then if you start to understand those states, maybe you want to try transitioning to just, you know, self-guided meditation. If you want a meditation tutorial, I actually did one on my channel long ago, so I'll put that down below as well. I am fascinated by altered states of consciousness. I've talked about them in many other videos and I will continue to talk about them in future videos. So if that's your cup of tea, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.